All right. Uh, hey, everybody. My name is David Robinall. I'm going to be sharing uh, some of my story with you. Growing up, I grew up in like a Christian-ish kind of household. Uh, we didn't really hold to a lot of the Christian practices, but we went to church every so often. Um, it wasn't very healthy for me though. I learned a lot of legalistic kind of things like do this and do that. Uh, don't do this, don't do that, or you're gonna go to you're gonna go to hell and you won't go to heaven. And for a young boy to hear that kind of stuff, I was kind of freaking out like, oh, how do I how do I avoid going to hell? How do I get into heaven if I could ever do any of this? I can't keep the Ten Commandments. I can barely get out of bed most, na most days. But there was this one friend who uh, specifically had a very important impact on my life and he invited me to have a sleepover the first day and it was on a Saturday night and the next day he was going to go to church which he didn't tell me he was going to do. He invited me that day to go to church and he uh, took me to Olathe Bible Church at the time and I had experienced Christ through a different form of worship. Uh, it was praising Jesus more for who he, who he is and what he did instead of just I don't know, songs. Uh, and from that day on, I had tried going to his church like on and off. I went back and forth and it was just so incredibly draining um, until I was given the opportunity to go on a trip to Panama uh, with the youth group here. Um, and my discipler at the time, he was discipling me during uh, my whole two churches deal. Um, and he was really explaining to me like, how I, it's not healthy to do that, that I can't be worshiping one God over here than worshiping the one true God over here. And he was really expressing to me that I have to abide in Christ. I have to have Christ at the center of, of, of me. Um, and the time for the mission trip came. I wasn't fully in tune with Christ yet. I was still managing, but Christ, God used that. Um, and he brought me down to the riverside because our showers are broken. And there in, in, the, in the river at Panama, I just started breaking down. I was so overwhelmed with emotions, so, so overcome by fear and, and just a lack of understanding of who God is. And I was just wrestling with him and I was angry with him because I had just spent $1,200 on a trip to the middle of the jungle when I have like maybe one or two friends here. And in that moment, I heard uh, the verse, Psalms 46.10, the first half, uh, be still and know that I'm God. And that's just when it clicked with me, is that God is the God, should be the God of my life, and that Christ came down to earth, hung out with sinners, and died for sinners. He died for me and for everything that I've done, everything that I will do, and it just really clicked with me. And, from that time forth, I had started getting involved with the youth. Um, I had started um, discipling people. I had started reaching out to people, things that I never used to do. I used to be really shy and uh, laid back, but God had really changed me. His gospel had really changed my heart for the better. I'm David and that's my story.